Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Golden Goal Show, Season 3, Episode 4. I actually got it right that time. Instead of fumbling, which I usually do, but I'm not that tired today. I am excited. <gasps> I was about to sing, but no energy is here. Okay, everybody, welcome to the show. And let me introduce you first to a happier person that's been on the show before. His name is Emilio, and he's a Manchester United fan. And yeah, I can say he's happier. I can speak for him. I can, you know, I can give him all the credit. How are you doing today, mate? Uh, <laughs> United! 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 Oh, man, I am happy. I am so happy right right now <laughs> in this yeah. moment. And this is possibly the only time I'll be happy. <laughs> I can't believe we lose. you would be happy. I, I would never guess someone would be happy about being 14th place. But hey, why not? There's Wait, hey, we're not in regulation battle anymore, so that's true. That's but <laughs> this is the only time I'll be happy before we lose again. <laughs> Who's your next game? Your president? Oh, Southampton. Whoa. Yeah. I mean, ah, that should be it. <laughs> I'm not gonna say easy because Brentford four 0 Yikes. Okay. <laughs> let's not bring back any bad memories. All right, let's go now to the Premier League. First game. I mean, first place is right now Arsenal, decent. Manchester City is second place. Leeds United, third place. Fourth place is Tottenham. Fifth place is Brighton. And in 28th place is the Hammers, West Ham United. Match day three, let's get into it. Tottenham, Wolves, one to nail for Wolves with a lucky, lucky goal. Everton, Norwich, Fah. Everton, let me try that again. Everton, Nottingham Forest. I said Norwich, Fah. whatever that team is. <laughs> One to one there, yes. Leicester City, Southampton. One to two for Southampton, with Leicester City bottling it. Fulham, Bradford, three to two for Fulham. Oh, not to, are not to bitch? Mitrovic. Which one? It was one of them. Which one? Which, which of the Ivichs was it? It was one of the Vich Vichich. It was a Vichich. Mitrovic, yes. Arnautovic is in Florentina. That is right. All right. Crystal Palace, Austin Villa, 3-1 for the Eagles. Crystal Palace doing a great comeback. Bournemouth and Arsenal, nil to 3 for Arsenal, continuing their beautiful form. West Ham United and Brighton, 2 nil for Brighton, carrying on the great form as well, too. Leeds United and Chelsea, 3 to nil for Leeds United. Doing absolutely great with pressuring Chelsea. And a red card for Chelsea being nulty. Newcastle, Man City, one of the games of the weekend. 3-3 three yeah. three there. What a draw. Beautiful game. And then Manchester United and Liverpool. Can we... Can, do you want to just read the score against Liverpool? 2-1 <laughs> against Liverpool with Jordan Sancho and Marcus Jordan Rashford Sancho? scoring. I mean, did I say that right? You said Michael Jordan Sancho. Yes, that's correct. I... <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> With Jordan Sancho and Marcus Rashford scoring and uh, Salah scoring as well. It was a nice goal, but yeah, yeah. I couldn't yeah. do anything about it. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, true. It's true, but I had great game for Manchester United. All right, let me get into this first. With Tottenham, of course, who else but Mr. Consistent himself, Harry Kane, probably going to be one of the Golden Boot contestants for this Premier League season. And also Everton, Nottingham Forest, great game for Everton coming back in the past the late itty bitties of the of the game, and then Fulham, of course, Mitrovic keeping up his great form for the championship. You know he was a top goal scorer back then, and now he's coming to the Premier League and proving himself to beating Brighton. Uh, yeah, he's he's have he's gonna have a comeback. He's I know. He, this is a full on comeback. Yeah, I I agree as well too. I don't know. It seems like, uh, but we can we can go over this after. But I just want to say it seems like the top the three teams that came into the Premier League. Are gonna stay up, Fulham, uh, the Nottingham Forest, and then also Southampton. I think, or no, no, Bournemouth, Bournemouth. I think they might stay up those three teams because right now they are doing decent. And then, oh, oh, my, mine was going, mine was going to be uh, not Nottingham Forest, Brentford, and then uh, uh, Bournemouth. Oh, you think they're gonna get regu- relegated? Uh well I'm well I think Bournemouth yeah yeah Bournemouth Bournemouth is going going to for sure Brentford if they're not too careful <laughs> with with how they play they might yeah. or they they'll just stay like above by like a point or two from relegation yeah 
Uh, and then Nottingham Forest, I, I think they're going to get knocked back down. Really? Uh, that, that would be uh, that would be terrible. But uh, I don't know. It's only the third match day three of the season. So I don't know. Yeah. It could have anything happened. Mm-hmm. Okay. Also, Arsenal, of course, doing great as well with <laughs> beautiful football played by them. I hate to say it, but beautiful football by them. And then also Chelsea, Leeds United. Oh, we. I did not watch most of this game because I fell asleep. I am so, so happy I fell asleep. I was watching the first 15 minutes, and Chelsea, of course, were doing what they do best, you know, missing their chances. Mm-hmm. It's okay, Sterling. It's okay. I still love you as a T Rex, but player, <laughs> keep it up. That's a T Rex. Yes, he's a, he's a little dinosaur. It's okay. I agree. And- Okay, then Leeds United, of course. Mendy fumbling, thinking he's part Brazilian, even though he's from Senegal. I mean, come on, man. Just, <laughs> just ah, disappointing. But then Aronson, the American scoring. I have to say the American because I get the viewers. Yay. And then, um, yeah, Aronson scoring on Mendy. And then, of course, just Brentford. Oh, my gosh. Just Leeds United coming <laughs> back with two more goals, just keeping Chelsea out of possession and just keeping them locked up. And then Chelsea, red card, Koulibaly, of course, tackling people. I don't know why he likes to give hugs, but why not? There you go. He's a friendly guy. All right, you, know then- what it, you know what it is? It's that it's the pressure. I think the amount of pressure that Leeds United oh, gave yeah. to Chelsea was, prob- was probably one of the, uh, I think, one of the advantages that they had. Yep, that's very true. And, of course, Ted, La- I mean, um, Jesse Marsh did a great job coaching Leeds United. And, yeah, good for Jesse Marsh, honestly. So. All right. I'm, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna say, for for Leeds United, I think they'll be like in seventh by really? like the end. I think by the end of the year, I think by the end of this year, they'll be in seventh. They'll be in like in seventh or eighth place. They need Captain America over there. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> they just get the whole MLS team, and, and it's funny. Someone sent me a meme today, or no, it was yesterday. They said uh, they sent MLS, and they said. Major leads. <laughs> so funny. I want to cry. All right, let's go oh. to Newcastle, Manchester City. It is a great game here as well, of course. Let me just say the timeline. Um, Ilke Gunduan scoring in the fifth minute. Consistently doing great. That's the second, that's the third game he scored. I mean, for a player that's like 32 and getting up there, he is still consistently doing great. He's at the right place, right time, so. He scored first of the fifth minute, and then also Miguel Armion, who is the Paraguayan uh, winger, scored for Newcastle. And then in the 39th minute, Callum Wilson scoring as well, too. And then, of course, Kevin Tupia with a beautiful free kick. Oh, that was nice. And then Erling Haaland doing what he does was banging in a goal with a nice little finish finish. And then Bernardo Silva doing a great goes well too with a beautiful Kevin De Bruyne pass so yeah great game here Newcastle keeping up with the title contenders so good for them and then okay well Manchester United Liverpool Emilio you want to take the floor you are the dancing queen dance away the night and let me hear what you got to say about this beautiful Manchester United performance I just realized from the last from the last episode you said that I was like wait did you just put did you just pull an ABBA pun on me Exactly. He did not. <laughs> gimme, gimme, gimme a man from Sweden. Cool. Uh, I don't know. Oh my gosh. I love the chant for that Arsenal. I hate to say it, but it's it's amazing. It's amazing. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. No, I know we what... like it. We like it. We like it. We like it. You know. Whoa, whoa. Saka and Emil's a throw. Uh, it's giving me goosebumps and I want to chop off my arms and legs. <laughs> uh, all right, Manchester United Liverpool. Emilio, please take the floor, Mr. Queen. All right. Well, well <laughs> it's about time that go- that they are they finally win a uh, uh, a game after the, the two hor- horrible games they had. This is a ma- this was a, 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 I want to say a makeup game for the for the for the past two. Uh, games even from the uh the Brentford the yeah the Brentford game I this this was needed the three points were needed it was a Jordan Sancho's goal was calm cool and collected mm-hmm. I have to I have to say and <laughs> what I like about it is that uh Milner was screaming at uh Van Dyke <laughs> because of that first goal did you game. see that 
Yeah, it was ice skating. Jesus. Oh my god. And then Mar- oh my god, Marcus Rashford's goal. The Wonder Kid again. The Wonder Kid, dude. He's been a kid for the past twenty years. All right. <laughs> <laughs> to me, to me, he is. He's still the Wonder Kid. Okay. okay. <laughs> but but uh, by the end by the end of the game, did you hear what um, the the manager for Man United said? I forgot his name. The, what? Yeah, did, did you? Okay, by the end of the game, uh, I, I forgot. I forgot. The manager name. for Man United. You don't know who that is. I no, I forgot his name, dude. The bald guy. Come on, Pitbull. The, <laughs> the three hundred five is worldwide. Let's go Counter Strike right now. James Johnson in the back. Mark Rashford in attack. De Gea, Dale. No, it's it's Eric Den Haag. Dale. Dale. <laughs> uh, he and his words and and I quote: "They uh, they played." Good football. No, oh, that's nice. that's what he said. Nice. After after that, but but I mean, Liverpool were talking. Liverpool, I think there were some of the Liverpool fans that were talking shit. Uh, mean, excuse my surprised. language. They were they were talk they were talking. But hey, we came through, and I hope it stays like that. <laughs> Next game against Southampton. You can only hope so, but it is the Premier League, and there has been some great games that have been shocking, honestly. So, you, yeah, like that Newcastle Man City game, like you, like you said, <laughs> it, it, it was to me, anyways, that was probably the best game in, in week three. Yep, I agree. I agree. That was, I mean, to, to think Newcastle could do that. I mean, I know it was the oil classical and everything, but still, it was, it was a great, it was a great Qatar money versus Saudi Arabia money. You just love to see it, but yeah, it was a great game. Yeah, and then Manchester United. I loved it. It was funny in the goal because Bruno was literally Bruno Fernandes was literally pointing at the corner for where he had to shoot, and James was just like, "Okay, Dad," and then he just passed it right there. So <laughs> okay, Dad. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, great game, great game. All right, let's move on to now the La Liga, and right now, first place it is Villarreal. Second Ooh. place, Real Madrid. Third place, Real Betis. Fourth place, Asunia. How do you say that? Fourth place, Asu- Asunia? Osasuna? As- Os- Os- Osasuna. Osasuna. Okay, got it. Thank you, thank you. If I mess up any of these names, please pull my hair. Okay. That sounds <laughs> wrong, but okay. <laughs> you know what I mean. Fifth place, Barcelona. And then 20th place is Getaf or Getafe. One of those. I'm hungry. It sounds like Pringles. Yum. All right, match day two. Let us get into it. Espanol and Real Velicano. Nil to two for Real Vaticano. Red cards for both teams being Nolte Nolte. Sevilla and Valladolid won all there. Red cards for both. What is wrong with anybody? Jesus. Okay. So many red cards in this in this in match week two. Dude, girls just want to have fun, I guess. I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> and Osasuna and Cadez. Two nil for Osasuna. And then Cadez with a red card being Nolte Nolte. Melorca and Real Betes. One to two for Real Betes. Celta Vigo, Real Madrid, one to four for money. Real Madrid, are you surprised? Benzema consistency. Atletico Club and Valencia, one to nil for Atletico Club. Atletico Madrid and Villarreal, disappointing loss for Real Madrid. Dup, dup, dup. Atletico Madrid, nil to two for Villarreal. Red card for Atletico Madrid being Nolte. Real Sociedad and Barcelona, one to four for Barcelona, showing their form back again. Lewandowski, Elche, and Armenia. One all there, one to one, and a red card for Armenia. And then Girona and Getaf, three to one for Girona. Newly, pro- uh, newly, re- newly promoted side. I cannot speak for Girona <laughs> and red card for Getaf being naughty. Everybody's naughty. All right. I mean, do you want to speak about Real Madrid's game? I don't know. I mean, besides saying that Benzema is, you know, like wine, doing great. Like like Wayne doing great. I was disappointed. I didn't watch that game. Uh I mean, it's just Real Madrid being Real Madrid. They <laughs> possibly might win the league again. So I'm not really surprised <laughs> with them. Them and Villarreal. All right. Well, Barcelona, do you wanna talk about this game a little bit? I just know that Lewandowski came back with on his birthday, scoring two goals. Happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday, you old Poland legend of a of a player you are. Mm-hmm. Um this this game, uh, the Barcelona game, <clears throat> I just have to say welcome back once again for Lewandowski. The first goal that he made was a it was beautiful. An assist by uh, Bal- Balde? Bal- 
Valde? Yeah. What? That is. Yeah, you didn't. You didn't watch it? No. Who's Balde? I. Bu... <sighs> oh. Then... Oh yeah, Balde. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you know what I'm talking about because I pron- I think I pronounced it very wrong. <laughs> Oh, you're right you're right yeah all right but but that but that assist from him and the goal was absolutely beautiful and then and then coming and then uh <clears throat> real sotia came back with a chip mm-hmm. alexander was, isaac the swedish player yeah yeah oh my god it was a beaut it was a beautiful chip as well yeah. Lewandowski scored in the first minute of the game And then Alexander Isaac scored in the sixth minute of the game. Wow. And then it was dead until the 50th minute. Then he got he things got heated up again. So oh yeah. Oh yeah. But who, who Dembele? <laughs> Dembele then scored in the 66th minute. And then Lewandowski scored two minutes later in the 68th. And then Ansu Fati coming back again, scoring in the 79th minute after being injured for some time. I mean, the next coming of Messi, Ansu Fati, everybody. The next move. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I, I'm sorry, everybody. All right, but he don't. He didn't know he's not knowing that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was totally good. But that I. Was... But I. But I, what I'm gonna say is that I think this is probably the the one of the best game. One of the best games that Barca has ever played. Uh, so far, in the league. So far, this league. I, I mean, it's my state two. So. I I was about to say it's only been two games. I mean, they it's lost. Only my they tied. Yeah, the first game. But that I mean for their for their second match they game I'd say this is probably like their uh their best out of the, the one game. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> Great. Yes. <laughs> Quick match there. <laughs> All right, yeah, but yeah. Okay, so yeah, good job for Barcelona and Lewandowski getting two goals on his birthday. Happy birthday, Lewandowski. All right. Happy birthday. Yeah, so excited. All right, Syria, let us go into it now. Napoli. First place, Inter Milan, second place, third place, it's a Roma, fourth place, Juventus, fifth place, Milano, and then 20th place is Monza. I mean, the top of the league looks like it's, you know, the same it always does. So, <laughs> Napoli, Inter, Roma, Juventus, Milano, Atalanta, Florentina, Lazio just are up over there above the eighth place. So, yeah, I mean, no really surprises here, honestly. So, all right, match day two, let's get into it. Nil to nil for Torino and Lazio for the first game. Udinez and Salentana. Nil to nil there with Udinez getting a red card being not say. Inter Milano and Spezia. Three to nil for Inter Milano battering Spezia. Sassuolo and Les. One to nil for Sassuolo. And then Napoli and Monza. Four to nil for Napoli battering Monza. Impoli and Fonedina. Nil to nil there. Red card for Impoli being not say. Bologna and Verona, one to one there. Red card for Bologna being naughty. Bologna, mm, food. Atalanta and Eti Milano, one to one there. And uh, no red cards there. Everybody's nice people. You're good. Look, Italians are being nice. They're just giving each other spaghetti. Roma and Cremonese, one to nil for Roma. And Sampdoria and Juventus today, nil to nil. Disappointing draw there when you expect it more from Juventus. But yeah. I mean, Roma's doing great. No surprise there with their new signings. And then Inter Milano as well doing great too. So with Lukaku and Martinez linking up again. And yeah, what what else can I say? Do you have anything else you want to say about the Italian league besides uh, Gelato? Yeah. <laughs> besides Gelato. Uh, I, don't, I mean, the Juventus game, it was, to me, it was kind of boring. Yeah. I mean, there was, there was, there was not really any like, good chances for them to 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 score or had or have a chance to like score like like maybe like a couple cheeky goals like you know just make maybe like a little couple cheeky goals but i, I don't know i kind of flips i kind of flip channels yeah i mean <laughs> this isn't the letter end of the season where they start paying for results so you gotta wait till later on so yeah it's, uh, yeah. Big, it's a big game all right but yeah that was city yeah And now let's go to the Bundesliga. First place. <gasps> Whoa! Bayern München. I would have never guessed. Second place, Bayern München Gladbach. Third place, Union Berlin. Fourth place, Mainz. Fifth place, SC Freiburg. And then last place is 18th, 
Bochum. All right, match day three. Let's get into it. First game, Bayern München Gladbach in Hertha Berlin. <clears throat> One to nail for her. Oh, I like that. Yeah, Bayern Munich got fuck. Red card for her. Then being not eight. Augsburg and Mainz. One to two for Mainz. Wolfsburg and Schalke. Nail to nail. Disappointing draw there for both teams. Stuttgart and Freiburg. One to nail for Freiburg. Dortmund and Werder Bremen. One of the games of the weekend, if I have to say so myself. Three to two for Werder Bremen. And then Leverkusen and Hoffenheim. Nail to three. For Hoffenheim battering Leverkusen. Union Berlin and RB Leipzig. 2-1 to one for Union Berlin. Disappointing result for Leipzig. Eintracht Frankfurt and Köln. 1-1 one to one there. Disappointing draw for Frankfurt. And then Bochum and Bayern. Just a simple little, you know, beating of nil to 7 for Bayern. Mane, Sane, Aganabre. All the way. Nice. 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 Oh, yes, indeed. It is. I I agree with what you just said. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Dortmund, but that did you happen to watch the Dortmund game or happen to see the highlights? Uh, I've watched the highlights. I haven't watched the game. I would love to watch the game. It's, nowadays, I'm just not. I'm, I'm missing more games than I should because of work. But yeah, you know, it's... yeah. But it was a great game. I have to say so myself. Yeah. Oh my god! No, it was it was a great game. I, I have to say, too. So, Julian Brandt scored first for Dortmund in the 47th minute in extra time for the second first half. And then Rafael Guerrero scored in the 77th minute, 2 to nil for Dortmund. When you thought the game was going to be put to bed. And then in the last minute of the game, in the 89th minute, Lee Burkhanen scored in the 89th minute. And you're like, okay, 2-1. And then there was five minutes of extra time which is actually a decent amount to get some goals back or even one goal to tie it up. But then Nicholas Schmidt scored in the 93rd minute, just four minutes later after the first goal. And then in the dying embers <coughs> of the game, last last couple seconds, Oliver Burki scored in the 95th minute to, for Berta Raymond to win. I mean, if that tells you Dortmund in a nutshell, that game does because no. their defense is just... Shaky, shaky. I mean, what else can you say about that? So, I, I'm, I, I mean, I was screaming when I watched the third goal. It was crazy. It was, crazy. was, it was a beautiful ball played in, and just one to one, boom, easy. But just the first, but the first goal though, from the from the outside of the foot. Yeah, oh my Yo, god, that was nice. That oh was my very god, nice. that was nice. That's technique right there. Did you but mean to do just, it? Yes. But that just shows you that a that a team like Werder. Can can act can actually uh, uh, play some some uh, some good football even in the dying minutes of the game they can still make a comeback. Oh yeah, yeah. Pro- probably better than Manchester United. I mean this this yeah, yeah that's true but also this just gives me vibes of the Real Madrid and uh, uh, Man City game that was that was just like this kind of. Oh, now you say it, now that you've said it like that. <laughs> yeah, with Benzema, the late minute hero for Real Madrid. But yeah, okay. Well, yeah. That, I mean, do you want? Do we even have to go over Bayern? I mean, they absolute battered Bochum. I, I mean, there's no surprises because Bochum is usually lower level team, and I can just say the fourth minute, Leroy Sané scoring, twenty fifth minute, Matias Litt with a debut, not debut goal, but his first goal in the Bundesliga, then. 33rd minute, Kingsley Coleman scoring, Sadio Mane scoring in the 42nd minute, and also scoring another a PK in the 60th minute, and then Christian Gamboa in the 69th minute. That was an own goal for Bochum. Thank you very much for generously giving them more points. And then Serge Gnabry in the 76th minute. I mean, it was... Huh, that trick. goal from Nabry was was amazing. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, it, it if you look at the stats, 13 shots on target for Bochum and 22 for uh, Bayern. I mean, that that doesn't seem like a nil to seven game, but uh, and then possession play thirty five to sixty five for Bayern. I mean, ah, uh, it's it looked like if you maybe looked at this game and I would say maybe it was like four two game or five two game for Bochum, but if anything, yikes, no seven to nil. The, uh. the, the Bayern Bayern are are I think they. 
an elite an elite squad. Like there, <laughs> there is there is no way if somehow they lose to like to 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 Colin or to Wolfsburg or to to Hertha. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they're definitely going to be a title contender to the Champions League. <clears throat> I, I can definitely say that right now. But oh, yeah. could you could you um, could you imagine Man City versus Bayern Munich? I would probably. I like the Bayern. final. Honestly, I I'd go for Bayern. I know, I hate. I okay. I'm not gonna say I hate, it, but I dislike Bayern. I do, but I rather go football over money. So, yeah. Well, well, yeah. Of course, well, of course, because because Bayern have have had like a winning a winning streak, mm-hmm. and I think I say for like you and the rest are like I'm tired of Bayern winning. Let someone else win. Yep. Yep. Once. <laughs> Like Union, like Union Berlin. Let's see them win. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's. Uh, I was gonna laugh, but I no. That, that's. Uh, yeah. All right. Now let's go to League Un, brought to you by <coughs> Uber Eats and Pie for the Eye. All right. First place is PSG. <laughs> Surprise. Second place is Len. Third place is Marseille. Fourth place is Lyon. Fifth place is Clermont Foot. And then 20th place is Troyes. Marseille 3, let's get into it. Lyon and Troyes. 4 to 1 for Lyon, battering Troyes. Monaco and Lyon. 1 to 4 for Lyon. Red card for Monaco as well. Marseille and Nantes. 2 to 1 for Marseille. Red card for Marseille as well, too, being Nantes. Strasbourg and Reim. 1 all there. 1 to 1. Clermont Foot and Nice. One to nil for Clermont Foot. Not a nice job for Nice with a red card as well too. Ha ha. Toulouse and Loyant two all there. Two to two. Angers and Brest one to three for Brest. Red card for Angers there being naughty. Montpellier and Ayaya. <laughs> what was that pronunciation? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Oh. I heard that. <laughs> I said Ayaya. Ayaya. <laughs> Oh my God. Apparently we're not. <laughs> apparently we're not in Bundesliga or Liga One anymore. We're in Bristol and in, in, oh in Spanish league. I guess. Hey, hey. I got him. I got him. No, what's this team's name? Is it Auer? Uh, it's probably pronounced Auer because I know how the X is. Pre- I. Why did I say I? I, I oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Somebody clip that. Everybody from IA, I'm very sorry. I mean, I mean, I will. All right, jeez. All right, one to two for our red cards for both teams being Nolte. Ren and Ajiao Cool, two to one for Ren, red card for them as well being Nolte. And then Lille and PSG. And yeah, it was a close game because Lille is supposed to be one of the great teams in the French league. And of course, you know, a classic, you know, little seven to one victory for PSG. I mean, can you can you really say anything about PSG? Uh, right? <clears throat> no, not not really. I mean, un- unless unless uh, <laughs> they they um, I mean, unless unless some unless something happens to PSG, like their their defense, like Ramos gets injured or Messi can't play because because of family issues or anything, or Neymar with family issues and a sister. You're right. Yeah, but but P but uh PS but PSG. I mean, they're just they're just they're just walking on sunshine sunshine and daisies. Yeah, I agree. Uh, it's well, just I'm... it's it's a winter wonderland. <sighs> it's not Christmas yet. We can't make these puns. Okay, well, <laughs> first minute of the game, Kylian Mbappe. Kylian Mbappe. I mean, scoring in the first minute of the game. That's impressive. I mean. Yeah, happy Mbappe. Yes, I, the Qatarian. He's he has his new Qatari citizenship, you know now. Oh, did he? No, he's the CEO of the team, so of course he has to. Oh, of course. They should change the name to Qatar Saint Germain. Honestly, come on, let's let's. Qatar Saint Germain. Seriously, just move the whole damn city to Paris. I mean, to <laughs> Qatar. Why not? All right. Well, I mean, so one, three. Okay, three goals for Mbappe. Messi scoring as well too, and then. Uh, Araf Hekimi scoring as well too, and the Neymar scoring too there too. I mean, the Neymar Mbappe Messi relationship is absolutely glued together sometimes, and sometimes it's a little broken after you know you saw the skirmish between you know Mbappe and Neymar about deciding the penalty. So it's yeah. they have their good days and their bad days. It's it's fine. They're like a team. <coughs> they should have their own reality show. 
All right. Well, yeah. Anything else you want to say about League One right now besides Uber Eats? Great besides, Uber, besides Uber Eats and only pies. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, only pies. Uh, not, not real, not really. Uh, <laughs> it would, it would. You know what? Now that I, now that I think about it, PSG versus Bayern Munich for the Champions League. I'd still go for Bayern. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. As much as I do like PSG and like they're some of their French players on the team, I still go for Bayern. I am never going to choose a team that's raised by money than, you know, than an actual team that's raised by, it's a farmer's league. I mean, bonus league is a farmer's league. It's just Bayern buying all the players in the league, but I'd rather prefer a farmer's league team than, uh, you know, a team raised by the money, but it is what it is. Some people will hate me. Some people will hate me. Some people will eat me. Oh, but yeah, it's it. <laughs> who, who would you pick in the final between PSG and, and yeah, in Bayern? Ooh, uh, I would, I would give it for Wrong. uh, P- <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd give it for PSG. Ah. Uh, Okay. I would give it for PSG. Not look, <clears throat> look. It's gonna be a tough game between Bayern and um and PSG. They'll be like I could see like extra time and then Mbappe scoring the last minute goal, or or should I say Messi a Messi assist and Mbappe an Mbappe goal. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah. I mean that it could happen. It could happen, but it, it could. But, but I would then like to, to see that fit the whole year is kind of hard, especially Messi getting with his older ages, and then Neymar yeah. as well too visiting his yeah. sister. But yeah. yeah, okay. Now let's get into transfer talks. Do you have any transfer of Manchester United? Uh, that uh, uh, Casimiro. Yes, indeed, for forty-four million. Oh my God! You, you see what I you see what I mean when they're spending so much money on like certain players? They're spending so much money, and it better be worth it because I swear to God, if we lose, <laughs> because well, I can't I can't say uh, because of uh, uh, Cas- Casemiro's sake, but uh, but if if we if we lose and we wasted all that money for nothing, I'll be mad. Yeah, I hope not. I really hope not. They, I really they, hope not too. But I'm just saying, if we if, if we lose against Southampton and wasting 44 mil for Casemiro <laughs> just to turn out to be, it's not worth it. I'm gonna be mad. Let's only hope so. Let's <laughs> let's really only hope so because I guess Manchester United is becoming the retirement league for Real Madrid. And you got Ronaldo there, you got you got Casemiro there, and you got Varane there now, and also yeah. you have Di Maria. There is. And Chicharito. Huh. <laughs> for really? Because I because I because for a long time I was I was so like, yeah, MLS has become more of a retirement team, a retirement league than anything in this uh in the football world. Yeah. But I guess it's uh now it's Manchester United. And uh, no Manchester United is, is a stepping stone to the MLS, which is a very sad <laughs> statement. Jesus Christ. It's a stepping stone. All right. Well, let me get into some transfers right now. So uh, on a really obvious one, the Casemiro one for 44 million. And then Emerson from Chelsea transfer just went in today for 14.3 million to West Ham United. Another one is uh, Vitinha from he's a Portuguese player going to Paris Saint-Germain good for him 22 years old only too so that was a good 33 million and then also Diego oh no Can, Goncalo <coughs> Rudez going to Wolves another Portuguese player going to the Wolves whoa Portuguese mm-hmm. national team there and then Diego Corlos center back going to Austin Villa the Brazilian player so I mean there's it's it's it hasn't been that exciting besides the custom your own one. I mean, it's. Do you have any other transfers you, you want to talk uh, about? Well, there was there was a rumor uh, for for Chelsea that uh, Ant- Anthony uh, Gordon was supposed to. Uh, oh no, be- mate! I I can talk about that. So first, Chelsea <laughs> bid thirty million for that for him. He's a left back. No, he's a, he's a left midfielder for. 
Everton, and he they paid thirty million for him, forty million for him. Now they paid fifty million plus ten, and that was rejected. Fifty and, million plus ten? Yes. Yes. For a young, just twenty year old player, no or nineteen year old player from Everton. Just a classic English player. So I mean it's just Todd Bowley's just got the money to spend. He can do whatever he wants to. I guess he just saved up money. I don't know. What what he got tax refund. Why not? So yeah, and then also Chelsea, they I can tell you some more that they're linked to. They are linked to Pofana, they've been trying to get him over, but he, they got rejected another deal today for seventy million, seventy five million, and that got rejected. So they're gonna go probably for another final offer for probably eighty million or so, which is like the Maguire range. So oh, let's hope he's not our Maguire. Let's just really, really <laughs> hope that. And also it. calm down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. And then also Chelsea are in talks with Aubameyang right now, trying to get him signed too for about I'd say twenty million. And hopefully that happens and then Marco Salonzo can actually go to uh, Barcelona because he's been wanting to go there for the he's been supposed to link to go there for the past like year or so, but Finally, he's actually going to go there. And Aubameyang coming to Chelsea, I can only say is, at least they have a striker besides Broja. That's right now. So, at least they have a number nine there. And then oh, also, so they're so they're going to bring back uh, Aubameyang to the Premier League. Yeah, Chelsea. Oh, oh okay. Well, yep, I know. I know. <clears throat> Shoot. Oh, and then there there was a uh, a transfer talk uh, from Manchester United. I totally forgot uh, that they were supposed to have a. Ajax player, Anthony. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think? He's yeah, for go? for eighty mil. Oh. And I that's mean, a they, bid. They have money. Oh, it, okay. It it was an, it was Anthony for eighty mil plus Frankie De Jong. I don't know for how for how much though. What? I I know I don't I they, they, we just splash him money like it like it was like it was a club. I don't even know what financial fair play is anymore. <laughs> Let's just, I, I really don't know. I really, really don't know. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then also, um, Chelsea are wanting to buy Rafael Leal from AC Milano, the young 22 year old striker. So, I mean, Ooh, okay. Why not? Why not? And also, this is a kind of an obvious one, but Timo Werner went from Ch- back to Leipzig. So, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, good for him. At least he gets. Oh, I guess it's time for football memes of the week, everybody. Let us now talk about football memes of the week. And uh, this is our beautiful mascot there, Akin Akin Fimwa, brought to you by Rivals Banters and Football Memes for Life. Let's see their first meme. And of course, we have to include some United memes just to make you happy. There we go. All right. This is this is a United tweet from the official United fan club. Casemiro arrived at Total Trafford. And then this is the when they were supposed to do a, what's it called? A, a, riot, pro- a protest. A- yeah. I was gonna say a protest in what was it, uh, Old Trafford? Yeah, yeah, right next to the, the the what's it called, the statue. Yeah. And this is the what the caption said. This is going to be the biggest protest against glass. Oh, shiny you today. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's basically making fun of United fans that just oh okay they signed someone. I think we're good now. You know what? We're fine. Thank you, Daddy Glazers. We love you. Thank like, you, Daddy Glazers. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's. There we go. <laughs> At least they won that game. Or else it would have been curtains. Yikes. All right, let's see the second meme. And it is right behind. Eric Ten Hag has found the best position for Harry Maguire now. On the bench. It's, just <sighs> a, picture. it's a picture of, of Harry Maguire on the bench. I mean. Uh, he's, that, he's in there looking, <laughs> looking pretty. <laughs> he looks like I had a sad day at the pub. Yikes. Okay, well, now let's I mean, see that. I mean, on that game, I think I, I think I would think at most they would put that he put Ronaldo in. Did Ronaldo even play? Uh, no. No. I don't think so. Anyways. Weak link. Just saying. <laughs> Isn't Ronaldo supposed to leave? I thought he's like linked to leave. Is he not? Uh, that there were there were there were some rumors and talks about him like leaving the club, but it hasn't like. Do you know how many clubs rejected him? Uh no, actually it's like I seven. I know Bayern rejected him, Dolman rejected him, <laughs> Chelsea rejected him. Um, well, Bayern, Bayern's good. They don't need Ronaldo. <laughs> yeah, but Ronaldo is just, just a household name, you, and you reject one of the greats. But it's just ah, uh, it's it's just sad times right now. But seven clubs rejected him. It's 
Uh, he he he's tried his hardest to get out, but I guess he's just sucked there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, look at, now let's go on to the second meme of the week, and it is a beautiful, beautiful meme. Then this <laughs> Pep after the game begging another five hundred million for from Sh- Daddy Sheck. Oh my! And this is just a bald guy <laughs> just doing the splits and showing his butt to a bunch of older, a bunch of random people. So. That's Pep. Just he's just trying to get his money right now because you know you tied Newcastle. You need another five hundred. You need another five hundred to spend on someone. Why not? All right. Yeah, let's hope they don't get in trouble for uh for fi- for financial reasons they again. Own, they own the fair play. They are the fair play. Why not? All right. <laughs> let's see the last meme. And honestly, it's a great thing that Mendy's doing. Mendy sees a team in white kit and gets Real Madrid PTSD. <laughs> Hi, hi, hi. This is the when Benzema took the ball off Mandy in the quarterfinals for the Champions League. And oof, it happened again against Aronson. And I cried. I mean, I cried in the highlights because I didn't watch the game. Thank God. But yeah, it's Mandy. Oh, I, I don't know why you think of Brazil, mate. Just stick to just launching the ball upfield. Come on. He, uh, he gets Real Madrid PTSD. He does. <laughs> I can, I can, I can now see him like anything, anything that that's worn white. He just has this flashback of of Real Madrid. Yep, yep, yep. He does. He just sees big Bez's face on that. So uh, the the, the flag even gives him PTSD. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, this if any any if any player just plays with a white kid against Chelsea, we, we're done. <laughs> We're done. We're done. If you pass the ball back to Mendy, he's gonna waffle it. All right. But... <laughs> Any team going against Chelsea? There you go. <laughs> That's how you I win. I cry, cry in Senegalian tears. All right. It, it, it's okay. I'll give you. I'll give you a back massage, <laughs> deep tissue. This is the same thing I said to you last last <laughs> game when you guys lost four 0 It's. Uh, I mean, I I might need that actually. I'll I'll, I'll hit you. Up. All right. <laughs> okay, but that was the show, guys. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Emilio, thank you for joining and, you know, discussing my pain and at least talking about your happiness. Uh, <laughs> uh, this, this was, this was cool. This was, this was really, uh, really fun. Uh, and I hope I get to get to be, get to uh, be here when uh, the world cup happens. Yes. That's going to be an exciting time. And I cannot wait for FIFA 23 to come because they are going to release it's confirmed a world cup mode. Oh <laughs> my god. It, I I I'm so ready for it. I'm going to wait, wait till the special edition comes out and then I'm I'm just going to buy it. <laughs> Same. I agree. I mean, I loved what they did with the last world or was it the last world cup or euros? It was it was it, I think it was the, the last euros. the euros? Yeah, because I remember they had like a certain ultimate team based on like the world cup or the euros. I just remember that. Oh, okay. I I, I mean, like I they, played... they didn't have like an extra game. They just had it in the actual FIFA. They just updated it, and there was like a brand new like World Cup mode or it was Euros mode, where you can do ultimate team with the Euro players, and it was just absolutely lovely. I loved it. Oh, dude, I gotta get on that then. Jeez, yeah. I really hope so. I really hope. Oh, so. And and the and I and icons. Can can we talk about the icons? Yes, that yes. that are coming on like like uh, Jin Sun Park. Yes. Yeah. Here, I, I can pull up the. Did you do you know any more of them? I uh, I I was Jin Park Yaya Torre. Man. Yes. Yes. yes, they, yes. They're bringing Yaya Torre. I was I was so happy. Yeah. Okay. Um. So they have Kafu. Yeah. And then they have uh Alan Shear, which is a great great one for England. <laughs> Alessandro De Piero. Some of these are repeat, but uh, Alessandro Nesto. From Italy, Alfredo Di Stefano from Argentina, <clears throat> Adria Pirlo from Italy, uh, Andrea Shevchenko. Uh, that's not that's a dictator. <laughs> Shevchenko from Ukraine, Ashley Cole from England, Bastian Schweinsteiger. Yep, yep, from Germany. Bobby Moore from England, of course. Cafu from Brazil. Carlos Piol returning from Spain. Carlos Alberto from Brazil. Christian Verer from Italy. Uh, oh, Clarence Seedorf from Netherlands. Eric Cla- Cantona? Hey, I'm not done yet, Joe, man. Claude <laughs> Makalele from France, of course. David Beckham. David Beckham, nice. David Beckham from England. David Trezeguet from France. Davor Sukur from Croatia. I've not heard of that one before, but nice. D- 
Decol from Portugal, Dennis Isberkamp from Netherlands, and then Didier Drogba from Ivory Course, of course, Edwin van der Sar from Netherlands, Emilio, hey, it's you, Petre Guino <laughs> from Spain, and then Emmanuel Petit from France, and then Eric Contona from France, and then, of course, one of the cheekiest players in FIFA, Eusebio from Portugal, making a return. I mean... Man. Oh wow, there was a lot more. Oh wow. Okay, well. <laughs> well <laughs> um, yeah, there is there is a lot more, but the main but the main people that I'm hoping to get in this game is is Eric Cantona, Jinsan Park, uh Yaya Tori, and then my my other my other uh significant Emilio. <laughs> yeah, that's you. <laughs> I mean, okay, let me let me try to maybe say the oh my gosh, there's so many. Well, okay, of... the people that I'm excited for in this game, that is though that's gonna be lit. I can't wait to to um to the to, to have them in my Ooh, ultimate team. Okay, let me David Villa from Spain, Xabi Alonso Ooh. from Spain, and uh Gerard Mueller, Jared Mueller, all from Germany. Great, yeah. And then Jorginho oh, from are. Brazil, and then Arfando de Stefano from Argentina. Those are like the newer ones, I guess. So yeah. Oh, for for real? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So cuz I cuz I was cuz I was so hyped I was so hyped for Jinsa Park I was like oh forget everyone else let me have maybe, the Korean uh, maybe, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he's he's in there too but I just can't really see the whole new list of it but yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. All right, well everybody, thank you for watching the show. We just made a nice little FIFA 23 FIFA sponsor please. <laughs> okay. Thank you for watching everybody. Like, subscribe and sharing. Without sharing, how else are you going to know that? Emilio, congratulations on becoming an icon in FIFA. Round of applause. <laughs> so it proud of an, you, mate. It's an honor. I finally made something of myself. <laughs> uh, I agree. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, thank you for watching the show, everybody. And as we say, in three, two, one, one. One love football. football. Thank you guys for watching and bye. Bye. Later.